baseline ink y'all so basically i want to say this is essentially as y'all can see um a card shop so they got cards <clears throat> baseball basketball football um collector's cards old new expensive in fact there's people in here right now going through baseball cards going through whole sets doing trades um as i review all of this inventory but the reason i came here is because he's a licensed funko pop dealer okay that is my niche that is my um weakness next to gym shoes and that is funko pops so without further ado let's take a look at some of those pops yeah we get to them so outside of that you see there's a few action figures i'm going through this all quickly y'all because this is not the the cream of the crop here okay this is not the cream of the crop we looking at these cards we're looking at funkos but we want to get to the sneakers so one quick moment of silence let's listen to this music and look at some of these funkos Garza right here y'all I know y'all think I get all my early stuff from Chicago Emporium but that's not true <laughs> this is the man himself right here y'all see it more later y'all appreciate you family once again for showing that love uh Jay Garza y'all I have where you can hit him up linked in the description hey fam what's good it's your boy Measley G and I'm back with a banger we got a early release for y'all but before we get into it, you already know what to do. Tell them, Cliff. Huh? You whispering? Hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell. And make sure you share this to all your sneaker friends, your Funko friends, even though it might not be a Funko in this video. Actually, there will be. There will be. Other than that, y'all, let's get to it. Today's shoe you already seen from the title we have, the Air Jordan 11 Retro Low. I don't know if this is on YouTube yet or if this is the first zoom out a little bit there we go so air jordan 11 retro low le price tag on this is 185 so if you notice that see if that clears up 185 lows are normally 175 so they went up ten dollars in price point or at least these snake skins are up ten dollars in price point colors is white black and navy and this is not your typical box this is like a snake skin print Jordan box if you can see the pattern on it So it's a slightly different box you have your uh your your um chrome metallic uh Jordan um What is it chrome metallic Jordan emblem? All right now reason you're asking the weather's getting hot Why do I have on this hot hot tamale sweatshirt right or sweater? It's because of this shoe right here bam and it matches so nicely so nicely look at that your boy I can do anything i can match anything all right so this is a ten and a half so you know what that is it's a personal pair measly loves 11 lows oh my gosh these <laughs> johnny johnny <laughs> johnny johnny okay these are nice these are nice y'all i'm so excited about this right now i'm so geek i was not that stoked before these shoes drop april 19th so we're gonna get a great early look and at the end of this video it's gonna be wrapped up with a close-up of the shoe 
also, okay? So that way you can get a nice little closer look into the detailing of the snake skin. So, that being said, first off, starting off with our upper, I would want to call this like a leather. I'm not exactly certain what material it is, but it is not that nylon that we're used to on Jordan 11 lows. It does not have that nylon on it. So it's not just going to turn yellow like that, okay? You got your standard white cotton um, laces that come with your Jordan lows. You got your 2-3. I like to call it the 2-3 on the hip, but you got the 2-3 right there on the back cusp, white inlay inner um, as well as with this blue snakeskin pattern. So maybe, oh gosh, and it's it's supple. It's supple. Look how, look how that just presses in. You know what I mean? So if you got any bunions and everything, they're going to show through this shoe. It's a nice, thinly placed material. Um, I really like it. Shoe smells good. Um, what do y'all think? Just, just nice and close. What do y'all think? Look at that. This shoe is clean. It is a low. I would wear some joggers with this. Um, this top I'm wearing right now is perfect with it. Um, these shoes are nice. You have the icy blue soles and you have the navy blue um, where basically where your foot and your heel presses. That's all the navy blue. You got your carbon fiber, super ruba. <laughs> got your carbon fiber underneath there with the rest of this um, see-through, translucent, clear blue sole. So, my ace boom, coon, moon, hoon. Y'all seen it earlier. Y'all seen, um, seen me intro the guy who I get my shoes from. I know everyone thinks I get them from Chicago Emporium. I do get shoes from them. I do get early shoes from them. But I don't get everything from them. I spread it out. I spread out the love. Why? Because they might not get everything. Or they might not have my size. Or the timing might not meet. Like their hours of operation and my hours of, and my work schedule trying to camp and get shoes. So it's cool having somebody I have, I know, that's not attached to a shop that I can link up with at a timely manner convenient for me to go and pick up my pairs. So that being said, what do y'all think? I know the world is real big on lows, 11 lows especially, and um, but they brought us the snakeskin back. The pink ones are dropping too, and then they have the uh, light bone colorway, which is gonna be the same shoe essentially, but with the light bone um, snakeskin pattern, kinda like the um, snakeskin Jordan 4s premiums that dropped so it should look that colorway in fact corporate got them just release the shorts that go with the pair to come out on june 1st and i bought those shorts uh last night they were 55 dollars with 10 dollars 65 bucks it sucked it was an impulse buy i bought it so now i gotta make sure i buy the light bones to not only match the shorts but to match these shoes too as well i gotta complete that set and if the pinks come in extended man sizes you best believe your boy's gonna have those too. All right. Now, with that being said, once again, the tongue is made out of the same material that the rest of the white shoe is made out of. And this actually really glistens. A lot of things, Um, it reminds me of the iridescent 11 lows that dropped last year before Easter. These are dropping, I don't know when Easter is to be exact, but these are dropping right around Easter too as well. So. Let me know in the comment section what you think of the snake skin, and let me cut it off the screen right there. That being said right there, this shoe is fire as hell. You don't know if it's a high, you don't know if it's a low, it just looks dope right there. You like, you want it. You bring it down, you be like, eh, it's a low, it takes away from it a little bit. But for me, the way I rock my stuff, it's not gonna make a big difference. Lows, 11s are comfortable, and these are gonna give you, um, I wanna say more space in the toe and foot area because the material feels so so nice oh my gosh it's so nice it's supple it's not hard it's not a hard plastic it feels like it could be real snake skin so maybe it is real snake skin but here you go you have it the jordan 11 lows snake skins this is uh, i believe like a midnight navy what are they calling this they're calling it white black navy white black and navy so white black navy these are fire, guys. All righty. You've seen it here on YouTube. Go ahead, hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. I'm going to stay with early reviews of shoes I want. I'm not going to cop the stuff early that I think is trash just to show it to y'all because I don't see there's a rush to show y'all trash. There's no need to be in a rush to show you trash unless it's to prevent everybody from paying a lot of money to get it. 
Other than that, you need something from your boy Measley. G, you already know. The contact info, hit me up. I'll give you Jay Garza's information in the link in the description below too as well. Other than that, stay tuned for about a minute of a close-up on these shoes. And I'm out. Alrighty, y'all. Y'all see it right here. That blue, those hints of black. This is a beautiful shoe. It feels nice. Feels like real snake skin. Drops April 19th. Once again, MSP is 185. That's $10 more than usual. Look at that booty on the back. These are nice guys. Signing out, y'all. Measley G, Jordan 11 Snake Skins.